So, good morning and welcome back to NPTEL lecture series on classics in total synthesis. So, today uh, we will talk about another very interesting and uh, complex natural product called discodermalite. Uh, it is a marine natural product and it shows uh, really excellent biological activity particularly it is an anti-cancer agent and also it could be used as uh, immunosuppressant. So, that is why since its isolation many groups were interested in the total synthesis of this particular complex natural product. The first total synthesis was reported by uh, none other than Stuart Schreiber. So, who reported this synthesis uh, three years after the molecule was isolated. When you look at this molecule, you can see there are many chiral centers first of all. Okay? And you have a six membered ring on the left hand side and you have five chiral centers on the right hand side. Okay? So, in between you have three chiral centers here okay? and all these are connected by a double bond. Okay? So, you can easily disconnect this molecule into at least three fragments. So, that is what Schreiber and his group did. So, they disconnected this molecule into three fragments, fragment A, fragment B and fragment C. Let us see how they have done that. So, first disconnection on the left hand side was to break this bond. So, the idea is to use Noshaki Kishi coupling reaction. Okay? So, here if you have a triple bond and you can add to this aldehyde. So, you can get this propargelic alcohol that can be reduced to the corresponding allylic alcohol. Okay? So, that was the first key disconnection. The second key disconnection was here. Uh, the idea was to have a carbonyl group here instead of alcohol. Okay? If you have a carbonyl group, then you should be able to generate an anion here and if this is a leaving group, then it is easy to do an alkylation. Later, the ketone can be reduced to get the alcohol. So, the second disconnection was on that. So, you can see, so this pyvalyl group can be removed and then converted into a good leaving group followed by alkylation, you can make this bond. So, the first disconnection led to three fragments, fragment A, fragment B and fragment C. And these three fragments can be obtained, for example, first to start with fragment A and that can be obtained from this compound which has already three chiral centers. Okay. These three chiral centers were established or built upon one chiral center. This molecule is called Roche ester okay. and it has one chiral center and from using this chiral center, so you could build two more chiral centers. And for the fragment B, again if you look at it was made from almost similar starting material. If you have a closer look at this molecule, then you will see only it differs at this chiral center. Okay? And again the same starting material that is Rochester. And the third fragment incidentally again comes from the same intermediate which was the intermediate for making fragment B and the starting material is same. That means, he has designed this synthesis in such a way that all the three fragments can be made from one starting material that is Rochester. Okay? Let us see how he has synthesized all the fragments and then combined to form discodermalite. So, the first step obviously is to protect the primary alcohol and reduce the ester. Okay? So, the primary alcohol was protected as TBS ether and then dibol reduction gave the aldehyde. Then came the first key reaction. The first key reaction was to use William Roche crotyl boration. So, what he has done was he has taken this chiral crotyl borane derived from diisopropyl tartrate. Okay? So, it is known it was reported by William Roche that if you start with trans 1, you will get this anti-aldol. 
And if you start with cis 1, if you start with the cis double bond, then you will get here syn aldal product. Okay, this is a very, very established uh, aldal reaction. Okay, so you could now, based on one chiral center as well as using this chiral auxiliary, you could establish three chiral centers. Okay, next, the double bond was ozonized to get the aldehyde. Then, stabilized Wittig gave the alpha beta and saturated ester. The second key reaction was. When you have this alcohol and also the alpha beta and saturated ester, if you treat this alcohol with potassium hexamethyl disulfide, so what will happen? It will become O minus, it will pick up this proton. Then when you add benzaldehyde, so the benzaldehyde is like this, so it will add to benzaldehyde and then the benzaldehyde carbonyl oxygen will attack the alpha beta and saturated ester and the whole process we can call it as oxa Michael addition. Okay. So, what you get is now you introduce the fourth chiral center and also the two secondary alcohols are now protected as benzylidine derivative. So, this is a very interesting reaction developed by David Evans group. Okay. So, now you can remove the TBS group with HF pyridine and once you have that you need aldehyde. So, that was done with desmartine periodinine to get the primary aldehyde. The idea to form the 6 membered ring is to first cleave this benzylidine derivative, then this hydroxyl group should attack the aldehyde to form the 6 membered ring. Okay. So, that was done in one step by treating with camphor sulfonic acid and methanol. So, camphor sulfonic acid and methanol first removes the benzylidine derivative that that is how the two hydroxyl groups are released. Once these two hydroxyl groups are released, one of the hydroxyl groups will immediately attack the aldehyde to form the 6 membered ring. Okay. And since you use methanol, then in the presence of acid, it will become the corresponding lactal methyl ether. Okay. Then you protect the secondary alcohol here with the other secondary alcohol which did not react to form the corresponding TBS ether. Okay. Now, the ester should be converted into aldehyde. Okay. So, that was first hydrolyzed with lithium hydroxide to form the carboxylic acid. Then, the carboxylic acid was coupled with Weindrup amine to form Weindrup amide. So, this is called Weindrup amide. As you know, when you have Weindrup amide, if you treat this Weindrup amide with Grignard reagent or organolithium lithium reagent, you will get the corresponding keto. But if you treat this with reducing agents like dibol, redol or lithium aluminum hydride, you will get the corresponding aldehyde. So, so that was the idea, he wants to get the aldehyde or before that this OME group which is slightly labile, so he wanted to convert that into SPH that was done under Lewis acid condition uh, by treating with zinc iodide and PHS TMS. Then lithium aluminum hydride reduce the Weindrup amide to get aldehyde which is fragment A. Okay. So, now the next step is to make fragments B and C. For the fragment B, again as I said, he started with the same Roche ester in two steps. You could get the aldehyde in good yield and now instead of trans, what he has used is cis crotyl boration. Okay. So, that he could get the syn aldol product. Okay. Now, once you have the syn aldol, protect the secondary alcohol as corresponding TBS ether and ozonize the double bond to get aldehyde. Then the next step, if you look at the structure of discodermalic carefully, the methyl group as well as this the double bond, the double bond which is actually connecting fragments A, B and C. Okay. Here it is, you know, 1, 2, 1, 2. It is Z isomer. Okay. So, if you want Z isomer, then you have to use Stille Janari olefination. Here, instead of normal alkyl ester, the phosphonate ester, if you use trifluoroethanol ester, 
then that gives Z isomer as the major product. So, that is what he has used to get the Z isomer as a major product, then reduce the ester with the lithium aluminum hydride to get the corresponding alcohol and that alcohol was protected as pyrrolate ester. Okay. Now, remove the primary alcohol protected as TBS ether. So, you remove that TBS selectively with HF pyridine to get the primary alcohol which was oxidized under Swan condition to get the aldehyde. Now, the aldehyde is homologated using Bestman Oira reagent. So, you got the triple bond and the triple bond upon treatment with iodine in the presence of morpholine gave fragment B. So, the fragment A and the fragment B both are ready. The next thing is to make fragment C. But the fragment C is we already discussed okay, when I when we saw the retrosynthesis fragment B and when fragment C were made from the same intermediate. Okay. This is the intermediate which is common to fragment B and fragment C. So, he took this intermediate and then protected the secondary alcohol as PMB ether because at some point of time you have to differentially remove the protecting group. So, it is better to protect it with a different protecting group. Okay. So, so, that was protected as PMB ether by treating with sodium hydride and PMB bromide, paramethoxybenzyl bromide. Then you do the ozone analysis, you get the aldehyde and treat with methyl grignard to get the secondary alcohol. Okay. This also now the primary alcohol which is protected as TBS can be cleaved by trifluoroacetic acid to release the primary alcohol. Now, you can see if you can rotate it by 180 degree along this axis, you will get this. If you rotate it by 180 degree, you will get this. Okay. So, you have this diol, then oxalyl chloride will oxidize, that is one condition, will oxidize both primary alcohol and secondary alcohol to get the corresponding keto aldehyde and the aldehyde was selectively uh, treated with Wittig reagent derived from CH2I2 okay, to get the cis vinyl iodide. Okay. Now, the cis vinyl iodide was homologated or olefinated with CH2 double bond CH zinc bromide. So, this is nothing but Negishi coupling. Okay. So, a Negishi coupling helped to introduce the next double bond. So, you, you have a diene at the right hand portion of discodermolite. So, this is how uh, Schreiber introduced the diene in fragment C. So, all the three fragments are made now fragment A, fragment B, fragment C. Now, how he combine all the three fragments to make or to synthesize discodermolite? So, he took the fragment B and combined with fragment A under this Nosaki. Hiyama Kishi conditions. Okay. So, this is well known reaction which gives the corresponding alcohol. So, you got uh, mainly this enantiomer and next you need a double bond. So, that can be easily reduced if you have a triple bond and the triple bond can be selectively reduced in the presence of other double bonds. Okay. So, once you have this uh, proporgelic alcohol uh, reduce the triple bond to get the cis double bond. Then protect the newly formed hydroxyl group. Okay. Protect the newly formed hydroxyl group as TBS ether by treating with TBS triflate and base like 2,6-lutidine. Uh, then you reduce with dibol. Okay. So, when you reduce with dibol, the pyrrolite ester will be reductively cleaved. Okay. So, that will give you the corresponding primary alcohol. Then this primary alcohol was converted into corresponding bromide in two steps via mesylate followed by treatment with lithium bromide. We can call it as Fingelstein reaction. So, using this Fingelstein reaction, you could convert the primary alcohol to corresponding primary bromide in two steps. Then, you have the fragment C. Take the fragment C and then treat with LDA so or lithium hexamethyl disalicide. So, you can generate anion selectively at this carbon. Then, quench with this bromide. Okay, so, it is simple alkylation, essential substitution reaction. So, now if you look at this carefully, 
you have the complete structure okay you have the complete structure of discodermae except that you need to introduce one methyl group here and you have to reduce the carbonyl group and of course you have to remove the protecting groups and convert this into corresponding lactone so these are the steps remain to complete the total synthesis of discodermae so he treated with lithium hexamethyl disulfide and quenched with methyl iodide so that he could introduce a methyl group here so he could successfully introduce a methyl group then you need a lactone here so the sulfur was removed with mercury chloride and oxidized with chromium trioxide to get the corresponding lactone so the left hand side is fine the right hand side is fine the methyl group also introduced now only one more functional group remains to be introduced is to get the alcohol that means you have to reduce the ketone so before reducing the ketone pmb was first removed to get the alcohol the secondary alcohol then the secondary alcohol was treated with chloro isocyanate so here it forms an ester okay so it forms an ester here oco nco and what you need is oco nh2 so that can be easily done by simple hydrolysis so neutral alumina just hydrolyze the nco to corresponding nh2 then sodium borate reduction gave or reduced the ketone to corresponding alcohol okay so now only one step is remaining that is removal of uh, all the tbs group so that was successfully done with para tolvin sulfonic acid so that is how he could complete the total synthesis of discodermalide and if you look at the total synthesis of discodermalide reported by schreiber so what are the key reactions he has done so first key reaction as you know is the crotal boration the roche crotal boration established two new chiral centers where it is synaldol or antialdol okay he has established two new chiral centers using roche crotal boration one second if you look at he has used kishi coupling reaction of uh, the iodo alkane with aldehyde to introduce one more chiral center and later the triple bond was reduced to get the corresponding cis double bond okay overall he took about 24 steps and the yield is quite impressive so 3.2% overall yield for such a complex natural product is really commendable okay after this total synthesis there are many total synthesis of discodermide reported in literature even novartis made 60 grams of this discodermide uh, following different procedures reported in the literature and it, it's a first time such a high quantity of natural product was made in an industry following uh, literature procedure and then they used this for several studies biological studies okay so i'll stop here thank you